Hello guys, Mike Ward here. Two questions that I'm pretty sure are on your mind right now. One, why am I wearing a tie and a shirt? Well, two reasons. One, I just saw my parole officer and I am finally in the clear. Two, mashed potatoes deserve your utmost respect. How is it so that I deem myself worthy of proclaiming to have the recipe for the world's best mashed potato dish? Three reasons. One, Yukon potatoes, considered by many to be the best. They have a really nice, smooth, silky quality starch for mashed potatoes. Two, salted butter. We're using salted butter because it eliminates the step of adding salt. The third reason is a technique, not an ingredient. We are not going to boil them today. We are going to steam them, and I'll tell you why. When you boil a potato, what happens is it's very violent on the potato. You have the water obviously coming in contact with the potato and the potatoes bash each other up and that affects the quality of that starch. When we steam them, it's, we're massaging that moisture into them. And that's what you want. A mashed potato, the perfect mashed potato should be like putting something in your mouth that feels like a hug from the person that you love the most on this earth. And that's what we're going to experience right now. Okay, I have my peeled chopped potatoes here. The only thing I want you to think about is you want to kind of cut them into even size portions. That way they steam equally. I've got them in a steamer here, splash of water in the bottom. I'm going to throw my lid on it on the stove. Okay. We have our steamed potatoes. They took about 10, 15 minutes and they're just fork tender. Now, the question of butter. I think really the question as to how much depends on who's watching you. Um, let's be honest. It is the star of this show. I don't advise this is kind of an everyday, all the time dish. It is a treat. So go heavy, you know, why not? And all I'm doing here is just taking the back of a spoon. That butter will eventually melt, break it up a little bit. You do not need salt. You do not need pepper. It takes a couple of minutes. You don't want to over mix this, by the way, because if you over whip, they do kind of, it brings out the starchiness even more and you don't want to do that. That is good. That butter is melting in. We have something magical here. Oh. I'm going to throw that in a bowl with a couple of chives and you're done. You want me to say something Guy Fieri-ish? At some point, we're going to Flavor Town. Just make it and tell me how much you love it. <laughs> 